Hi, I'm Ben Pascoe for LearningSurfPhotography.com. I'm going to be doing an unboxing today. Uh, I've got the final retail version of the Sea Frogs A6XXX um, Salty Series housing. Um, it's got a nice box that it comes in, nice and sturdy. No rattling. Oh, that's my chair behind me. Um, no rattling, so that's all good. Notice, please test without your digital underwater camera at the first time. Please confirm it's. Uh, it's watertight before use, so good advice. Let's have a look. I'm sure you'll all be aware of um, what the specs are on this one. I've also done a longer video of this. This is just uh, the unboxing, so I can show you exactly what the full retail box looks like. So we've got some uh, anti-fog packets, I'm sorry, anti-fog inserts. So much like you could get for the GoPro cameras, um, so I actually had a question on my other video which asked about these and I hadn't got them with the original package that I got so now I understand. Sorry about that, I'll, I'll uh, do my best to figure out how I'm going to put those in and use them. Although to be fair, I've used the other one quite a few times now and haven't had any fogging issues so hopefully it won't come to that. We get a user manual, nice. English is page 1 to page 12 so 12 pages, that sounds pretty comprehensive. Wow. So. There you go, that's what that looks like. I'm, I'll put a link below. I'm sure you can download it online. If not, then perhaps I'll, I'll do a quick scan and put it online, but I'll put a link below to what that is. So all your standard stuff. I do really recommend you read uh, at least the safety precautions and probably the parts installation. If you've got an A6000, this is the bit you need to pay attention to. So uh, I did get a comment from my last video of someone whose buttons weren't quite matching up um, after inserting uh, one of these with the A6000 because this camera housing is designed for the 6000, 6300 and 6500. Um, and I've been lucky enough now to use this housing with a, six, a 6000 and an A6500. So the difference is you have these inserts and it explains how to do it here. So um, I didn't have any problems with the buttons. I tried all of them and they, seem, they all seem to work fine. Um, there's a couple of buttons that aren't on the A6000 that are on the subsequent camera. So obviously they're not gonna work. So this is, uh, please read. Okay, so they reiterate the safety precautions here. So at the very, very least, read that one before you take it anywhere near the water. That's my advice. Uh, right, so let's get to the, uh, the goodies. Nice box, really nicely laid out. Everything's nice and padded. So here's, this will have to be the pistol grip. And this one is the white version, I think, rather than the black version that I've shown you a video of before. Um, still has a black pistol grip though. Oh, I'll just make sure some instructions for the pistol grip. Okay, so there's a bit of tape in here, which is no doubt some more good advice. Uh, so they provide an Allen key, that's really useful. And there's a oh, spare O-ring for the uh, seal on the top of the pistol grip, that's really useful. Um, and then obviously your four bolts, four bits of hardware to attach that. So I'll go into more detail on my other video on that one, but that's really good to see that there's a spare O-ring there as well. Uh, so that will go on the bottom of the housing in a moment. Right, so we've got that little insert, I believe is for the outside, and that clips on, it's like a lens, uh, um, an LCD shade. Um, so if you're using it in bright light on the surface, above surface, I guess, then that's gonna shade the LCD so you can see it. But there's also a viewfinder on this one, so you don't necessarily need that if you're happy to use the viewfinder. Um, and my experience now, that talking of viewfinders, there's a little rubber um, eye cup that goes around the outside of the viewfinder, which makes it a bit more comfortable because you are going to want to get really close to that and really push your eye into the viewfinder. It provides more stability because there's an extra point of contact with your body. Normally I'm holding with one hand, right hand on the pistol grip trigger, left hand on uh, the side of the, the body of the camera, which has a nice ergonomic grip on it anyway. And then I'm pushing my eye right against that rubber cup and it's nice and comfy. Um, I did notice when I used it with the A6500 that it is, uh, um, it's a little bit better, you get a bit, bit of better coverage with the viewfinder. The viewfinder is better on the A6500 in any case, um, but I do think the A6000 still works great with this housing and the viewfinder. Um, so this is the kit you need if you're gonna use an A6000, what I mentioned in the instructions earlier. Um, just good to know, keep that handy. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, so this is something that didn't come with my original one. It's, it looks like a neck strap actually. So I probably wouldn't, wouldn't wanna wear this in the sea if I was shooting surf photography. It'd be useful, perhaps if you were in a boat and you weren't gonna be going over the side, then then a kind of 
or maybe even just on your camera when you're not using the housing at all. But I wouldn't recommend putting anything around your neck and head when you're in the surf because it's so easy to for things to go missing and fly out of your hands. So I've actually, I'll put a link below, I've actually bought a little wrist lanyard for, it's designed for like dive, um, dive torches and, and other paraphernalia that people take diving. So it's, it's designed to be in the water and it's designed to hold on to stuff. So it was only a few dollars in the end, I think, um, on Amazon, so I'll put a link to that. So I would not recommend this for active in the water surf photography, but it's handy to have. I'll keep it in the packet, I think. Um, and like I say, if you're on a boat, it might be useful to keep it hovering there. Um, I guess you wouldn't need, you wouldn't use the pistol grip with this because it'd be digging into your, your chest the whole time. So that one, nice touch, but I, I don't think I'm gonna use that one very much. Um, everything so far been really nicely wrapped. Got some bubble wrap there. What else? So this is the main event, I think. Let's see how I can get this out. Um, well, wow, it's really well packaged. It's got like a cardboard insert that you can slide out, which kind of cradles the, the housing and the port, which is already in place. Um, and I expect the safety precaution says inspect that that seal, so you're probably going to take it off anyway, so it works. Okay, so it unfolds. Careful not to drop it. And then this bit kind of, it's like a cardboard envelope for it, right? And then lift it up. Okay, so this is all good recyclable cardboard. That's good to see. Um, that's just a spare O-ring for the main O-ring for the back, um, some silicone um, grease. Um, in my experience, you don't need very much of that grease at all. You just want to make your O-rings look kind of damp, really lightly grease things because the grease uh, does act as a bit of a magnet for things like um, sand and hair and stuff like that. So light, really lightly grease things. If, the, if it's controls, that's where you need this grease the most rather than the big back O-ring. So um, there's like a lens cloth in there as well, which would be useful to just clean things up. So that's your box. Um, let's pop that there. And the little kind of cradle thing. So really, yeah, really well protected. And this is a kind of nice net bag. Let's pull that open. Right, so there's the white one. I prefer the white color straight away. Right, what's changed? So it says salted line up there. I think that's the same. A6XXX. Well, it's actually an alpha symbol, a little alpha symbol, but but let's just say A, because that's what everyone says. A6XXX series, waterproof housing, 60 meters, 195 feet. That's the, water, the depth rating, how deep you can take it. Um, this port is great. It's, it's one I've been using most. I used it the other day with the A6500 and my Sigma 60mm F2.8, and I got some really nice photos. Um, I, I reckon, oh, you know I said earlier about the ergonomic grip, it's actually on the right-hand side. That makes sense. Don't know why I thought it was the left. Um, so I would just be holding this side which is, has your handy zoom control. So I have been able to test this um, with, uh, or the other version rather that I've, that I've already got with the 10 to 18 mil Sony lens. Um, I've got the Sigma 16 mil F1.4 to try out and I'm really excited about trying that out in the dome port, which naturally is also compatible with this white version. Um, ports just go off and on like this. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There'll be a little locking, um, locking, nut on the inside here so i won't be able to remove it just like that i've removed the other, mine on the other one um i haven't seen any issues with with it not being well the idea is that that like, locks it in place and it's never going to come off i just kind of inspect it regularly kind of um and just make sure that the little white dot isn't next to the open marker um it's even more clear on this white version as well which is great to see uh it's got all the same features as you'd imagine what's it say on here for inserting your camera inside, remove the accessories. Right, so yeah, take off your strap and any additional grips and, and anything else that's on your camera, which is good advice for any water housing. Um, right, that's that. This is where you pop that little rubber bit. That's everything you get with it. I thought I'd keep this one nice and short and sweet. I'm really impressed with how the housing's working for me so far, especially with, my, with the, uh, the A6500, um, which is really performing really well. I definitely think if you've got an A6000, it still works great. I wouldn't, if it's still photography of surf that you want to do, A60, the A6000 still works amazing and this will work perfectly with it. Uh, so yeah, I'm really, uh, I'm looking forward to doing a few more videos with a few different lenses, 
trying out this white one in the water as well as the black one I've already got. Have a look at my other videos um, underneath which will show you my, my more in-depth video about this housing, um, pros and cons and some uh, comparisons with, uh, with other surf-based housings. Um, you also get another lens gear in there as well. So uh, I think, let's have a look at them. This one says on, embossed on the edges 10 to 18 mil. So that's my 10 to 18 mil for the Sony 10 to 18 f4 lens the one in here will be for the um sony 16 to 50 so that's the kit lens and both of those uh as you can probably work out from the fact that it's got a, a gear in it um this has got like a plastic lip so it's okay to put it down on a surface like that you're not going to scratch it that's actually been really really useful it's it's probably the case with most other housings as well with flat ports but it's just good to be able to put it down like that not worry this one says yeah 16 to 50 mil so with both of those lenses, these zoom rings fit inside like so, uh, and you can operate the zoom on that lens whilst you're in the water. So really, really great for, for shooting video, obviously stills as well, but, but I'd say video is a big bonus there. Um, oh, it's really nice actually, I think this is a new touch. Uh, yeah, I don't think this was on my original, the original one I did my other video about. These, um, these controls here, the bits that you swap out if you're gonna be using the A6000, which is this one, they've, they've been embossed with A6300 and A6500. So if you've got a 6300 or a 6500, you can just drop it straight in as it arrives, no problem, everything will work fine. Um, you should test it in the water first, as I said. <laughs> Don't wanna be responsible for anyone having any leaks, so just make sure you test it in the water first before you put any camera in there. I haven't had any problems with it, but you've got to be, it's better to be safe than sorry. So if you've got the 6300 or 6500 and you've tested it in the water, then you can just drop your camera straight in and you're good to go. If you've got an A6000, that's when you need to, anything with A6300, 6500 embossed on it, take that out, pop in the replacement bits, which are for the A6000, and then you're golden, you're good to go. Uh, and that's really easily reversible. If you did want to um, upgrade in the future to a 6300, 6500, you just gotta keep hold of these bits and then just swap them back in. And that's exactly what I did on the black version of this housing, which you've seen in a previous video. I used it with my A6000, did a few test shoots with it there, with a few of the lenses I had. And then I, I swapped out the rubber bits of the controls Put back in the original ones, kept my 6000 safe because I'm probably going to be want to use it with that one again in the future, and then popped the A6500 in and I was good to go. So there is a, an O-ring already installed, so that's all good. So yeah, uh, I'm really impressed. Again, I pref much prefer the white colour. I think it's more visible, especially in the dreary UK sea. Um, I guess if it's really foamy and white watery, then you might have a, it might be a little bit tricky to see, but um, I reckon on balance, this is gonna be the best one. It's also gonna reflect some light. So if you're in a hot environment, that can only help. Um, the ports are obviously the same ports as, as with the black system. They haven't got white ports. That would be fairly ridiculous, but um, obviously it takes the same ports, same bayonet system. So again, very impressed. I'm really looking forward to showing you more of what this housing system is capable of. Um, I can put up, well, I will be putting up a, um, a few more posts in the future about different lenses. I really want to do a fairly detailed comparison of the different lenses which work in the dome port. So this is the dome port which fits on, on this housing. And um, they are going to be making a smaller one. Um, from what I've heard, and I don't know for sure, um, I, I'm kind of expecting it to be perhaps without the hood um, and without as much of a... Um, kind of tube bit on here, that's an extension, that's a better better term for it. Less of this, and then as close as possible to the to the bayonet system with, with this extension piece, and then lose the hood, and then you're pretty much where an, a traditional surf dome port would be. So if they can do that, and they can do it for a good price, no reason why they can't, then I think sea frogs are really onto a winner with, with the, um, with the fisheye lenses, which I really love shooting with personally. I know a lot of other surf photographers do love. I've also got, I haven't got it handy, but I've got the Sigma F358 mil fisheye now as well. So three new lenses since I last did a video on this housing and I've used um, I've used the eight mil in with this port and it works great, no vignetting. Um, it's the image quality is very, very similar to the, the Samyang F28. 
I mean, I couldn't tell the difference. Um, obviously it's not as fast, but I shoot at F4 pretty much the fastest with my surf fish eyes anyway, so don't worry about that. So if you are desperate to get uh, a full setup for your 6,000, 6,300, 6,500 Sony camera, and you wanna shoot fisheye and a huge variety of other lenses in the various different ports with a pistol grip, this is gonna be a good shout. Um, really impressed with the full, the final retail version. I think anyone who's ordered one is gonna be happy as well. Um, like I say, I will try and address those questions that I got about the, um, the, the anti, anti-condensation pads, how to get them in there best so they're not gonna roll, roll around. Um, I'll come up with a couple of techniques for that. Um, so we'll fit in one of my follow-up blog posts. I'll put a link below to what I use as a wrist lanyard rather than this one for surf photography. And yeah, check out my other videos. If there's any questions, anything you'd like to see, if you want any uh, particular tests done with a Sigma, uh, Sigma 16mm f1.4, Sony 10 to 18mm, um, or the Samyang 8mm f3.5 fisheye, then just put, the, put a comment below or go to learningsurfphotography.com um, send me an email, ben at learningsurfphotography.com. I'm more than happy to try and test that out for you. So thanks again, and uh, really look forward to, to getting this in the water a bit more, trying out those new lenses. Thanks very much.